Now, we don't want your trash. That's the message from some Goodwill stores across the country after receiving donations that were defective, broken, or worn out during the pandemic. However, we've learned that isn't the case here in Central Texas. Texas Today's Maria Aguilera went to the Goodwill headquarters in Waco to find out what you need to know before your next drop off. Maria. Heidi and Chris at the heart of Texas Goodwill. They received an influx in donations during the pandemic, and since then the donations have remained steady. Unlike some other locations, they say they've received really good quality items. And they want to encourage people to continue to give. We didn't have a trash issue. Uh, we had people bringing us really quality items. Shannon Whitmer, the president and CEO of the Heart of Texas Goodwill, which is just one of 156 total agencies that operate independently, says she doesn't want people to be discouraged to donate. We run a retail store, but that retail store exists to create jobs um, and fund our mission programs. Whitmer says they try to make use of all donations and they typically stay where they were dropped off unless they have some flaws. Then they go to the outlet store. If it doesn't sell in our retail store or our outlet store, then we're going to try to recycle it in some way that can either be selling it to salvage buyers um, or also to other people that are buying aftermarket um, items. So we try to prevent items from going to the landfill. So what should you donate? Honestly, we take all donations when it comes to textiles and shoes and furniture and other household items. Um, we always say, you know, your gently used items are welcome here at Goodwill. Whitmer encourages people to not throw things away. If not Goodwill, the Salvation Army and Caritas have thrift stores that will take your donations too. If you have any questions about donations, you can call your local Goodwill and we have more information on our website, kcntv.com. In Waco, Maria Aguilera, 6 News.